Mark robes 08 after finally releasing a video after another six month hiatus. I'm in the late autumn of my 30 year career and recently I've been pondering what's it all been about. Me after releasing yet another crass and offensive YouTube video. And so let me say that if I did offend anybody in any way, shape or form, I'd like you to know in all sincerity that I couldn't care less. I am in the upper echelons of British nobility and one can do as one pleases. The fragrance apprentice after realizing that overtaking me doesn't actually make him the world leader of the fragrance community. I never achieved the one thing that I coveted the most. Me to anyone else who wants to challenge my leadership of the community. Please, sunshines, come and take a piece because I'm here, you keep bringing them and I'll keep knocking them out. Me after having to kick another person off my live stream for insulting a guest. I have a wonderful knack of getting myself into a lot of trouble. Me before embarking on the knock one out ten times in one day challenge. I'm going into this match knowing that the only chance I've got of surviving, let alone winning, is a miracle. Me before embarking on a 12 pint drinking binge. I'm not worried or scared of my plight. In fact, I'm relishing the thought. Me looking forward to my oiled Greco-Roman wrestling match with the Fragrance Apprentice. I am going to compete with every drop of violent venom that I've got left. And if this is the end, well, I honestly can't think of a more noble way to go. And this was my private WhatsApp message to fellow YouTuber Joey Cannoli. When the time comes, let's, me and you, get together, and I'll take you from being rowdy and turn you straight into a bloody vegetable sunshine. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Great to have you here. So today we're going to have a look at the top 10 fragrances for men with kahunas. It's going to be a fun topic. So uh, what do we mean by kahunas? doesn't really have an explicit meaning for me. This is the English translation of a, I think, an originally a Spanish word. And it essentially, in the, uh, I looked in the dictionary, just means to have guts, really. So uh, I'll, I'll talk a bit more about that in one moment. Before we get into that, just one thing you might want to know as I shoot this, we are in the last couple of days of our special offer on Norton & Wilson, the code LIMITED20. We'll get you 20% off any purchase. The link's in the description. Check it out. Both those fragrances actually do have a bit of kahunas about them, and you would, you would have some kahunas if you wore them, but let's not include my own brand in the list. That would be tacky. Okay, so what do I mean by this category? So basically, it's a little bit of a reaction against all the kind of um, things telling you, you know, I did a reaction video on Alex Costa saying this is your five fragrance starter collection thing, or the videos telling you, you know, how to get compliments and the most uh, fragrances that will make women want you, all this kind of thing. Some people call this simping if you're, if you're watching those videos. I'm not going to use that kind of term. I'm, I'm an old fashioned guy. We didn't have that word when I was growing up. These are kind of, I guess these are kind of the anti simping fragrances. They're not necessarily all old school or uh, some of them might, people might like them, but they're, they're just fragrances that wouldn't be the obvious picks to get compliments or if you're kind of overthinking things and oh, will, will other people like this? Will I get a compliment? Uh, what should I wear for the summer? What's the best work fragrance? This is just like I wear what I like. They're all a bit different. Some of them pretty powerful in their performance and it's, you know, curly fragrance says um, get your balls in a good position. Well guys, I would say get your kahunas out on the table and let's get into my list. So no particular order. Let's smash through this baby. Number one then, unusual choice here, uh, Midnight Oud, and the company making this, I've forgotten their name now, uh, this is a great clone of Interlude Man from Amouage, which I do have a clone of, and it's Ard Al Zafaran, I think, Ard Al Zafaran Trading, amazing bottle design on this one. I really like the bottle design, uh, it's absolutely great. Midnight Oud is the name, it's really heavy. It's this incredibly spicy, pungent fragrance, a bit of oud in there, smoky, spicy, bit of dust flowing around, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, it's spicy, 
masculine kind of, I think you would say, uh, exotic bit of incense, bit of oud, very, very potent, and uh, like the original Interlude Man, which is also great. It, I mean, it's not unwearable, it's not like in your face horrible, but it's certainly not something, a safe bet that you'd wear if you're thinking, oh, what shall I wear for my date? I, I, I must pick the right fragrance so that she will like me. Is it just something you wear because you love the smell? Uh, maybe in this case, because you don't want to splash out on the original Midnight Oud, Al, Al, Al Zafaran or whatever they're called, great, great fragrance, definitely some kahunas about about that one. If you like the video, by the way, please do subscribe. It does actually help me and I wouldn't mind seeing my numbers go up a little bit. I do think I'd bring something different to the game, whether you always like it or not. I don't know, but please subscribe. It helps me out. And this one had to be in the list, the next one, uh, because it's got the best name for a fragrance, I think. Brutal Classic Intense, a Polish fragrance. Not sure how easy this is to get outside of Europe, but if you're in the uh, EU or UK, you can get this one. Fantastic Polish uh, Eau de Cologne or Eau de Toilette style fragrance, and has a little bit of Aramis from Havana, uh, not from Havana, the fragrance, the original Aramis Eau de Toilette about it, but it's a little bit more fresh than that, so sort of more citrus, but some of that kind of leathery under tone of Aramis. Really, really nice, fresh, spicy, masculine, a real cheapy classic. If you, It's like the Brute of uh, Poland, you know, from Brute for Fabergé. If you're in the UK, everyone used to wear that as a crap, cheap Christmas gift. This is probably the same thing in, in Poland, but it's really, really nice. The name is Brutal. You'll be a brutal guy with kahunas if you wear this. And, you know, people would like it, but who cares what other people think? We're running away from that nonsense in the new Mr. Smelly community. Next up, Really, really nice fragrance. This is from a house called Acompara, Acompora, sorry, and the, the fragrance name is Young Hearts, and it's by the amazing perfumer and fragrance writer Miguel Matos. I've got some on here. So this is an expensive one, a little bit, for it's a niche fragrance, very, very high quality. This guy, some of his perfumes do blow me away. Years and years of writing in the, the fragrance industry as a fragrantica ed editor. It's sort of a cross between a sheep prep and a fougere fragrance, but it's it's unlike anything you've ever smelled. It's really, really rich, kind of dark woods. It reminds me of the, the wood ebony. I don't know the specific smell of ebony, but it's like an ebony wood mixed with a, a hint of pininess, maybe a bit of lavender in there. Dark woods, it's like a dark forest. If you think of um, the fougere as, as a green foresty smell, well, this is like a kind of dark, scary, green, piney, fougere, chypre, hybrid really really high quality amazing beast mode performance i love young hearts definitely loads of kahunas in that one if you'd like to see an extra video from me every week sign up to my patreon group it's only two dollars a month there's a link in the description and we have loads of interesting stuff going on in there i do a lot of fragrance stuff of course but i also talk about some other things to do with my life it's really fun and i hope to see you in there as i say you can follow the link in the description or just go to patreon and type in mr smelly 1977 Okay, now moving on, guys. A little bit of a cheapie here. Agua de Colonia Concentrada. Why am I including this? Well, it's kind of just an under the radar cheapy gem. I've banged on about it loads of times. I've mentioned the uh, the size of the bottle being really good because it's 150 mil, really good prices online. Classic Spanish cologne, mixture of oranges and lemons and a little bit of lavender and a subtle undertone of spice. Nice performance for me. The 150 mil bottle smells out, sprays out loads. And it's just, I actually got some compliments on this. Not that I care about those. Uh, but it just shows you don't, don't have to follow the crowd and go and buy Bleu de Chanel or Dolce & Gabbana the one for people to like you. It's a really, really nice fragrance. People of all ages, it's actually genderless. I mean, these fragrances, women could wear them too. This, this fragrance is for someone who just doesn't care what the crowd say, knows what he likes, and just wants to smell fresh and great anytime. Take some kahunas to wear a fragrance like that. Uh, when you're kind of a little bit new to the fragrance game maybe and you don't follow all these videos that tell you you have to wear this one for compliments or that one they, they don't know none of these reviewers know have you seen some of these the male reviewers do you think they go out do they look like people who are going out meeting hot chicks and getting compliments I don't know about that guys okay moving on now we're actually going to include Aramis itself I mentioned it earlier Aramis is a really really great fragrance the original eau de toilette from the, uh, the 60s it's got a freshness about it it's got this leathery undertone. It's leather and spice with a little bit of green freshness. It's a little bit, not everyone's gonna love it. It's a bit too macho, it's a bit too masculine, it's a bit old school, but it's really, really nice, classy stuff. I think it was, uh, what's his name? Uh, Robert Downey, no, not Robert Downey Jr. Uh, yeah, a lot of famous old celebrities have, have chosen to wear this one. I thought, oh, what's the guy's name in the Rat Pack? I can't remember his name now. The, the singer in the Rat Pack, um, I, I can't remember his name. Really, really good fragrance. Definitely check this one out. 
and very, very affordable. Take some kahunas to choose that one, I would say. Next one then, this is more of a flex thing, that the kahunas are because it's very expensive and it actually smells good and it's not the obvious one from Roja. So why, why go and buy Elysium in the blue bottle from Roja? Why buy Enigma that everyone tells you is the best one? When the real best one that I've tried, well, I, don't, I haven't tried them all, Scandal Pour On. It costs a bomb, so you're showing some, uh, you're flexing a little bit by buying this one. And it's also a beautiful combination of fresh citrus some floral tones. I, it reminds many people of original Eau Sauvage vintage, but it has character of its own. It's an absolutely stunning fragrance. I love Scandal from Roger. And in, in a way, there's a little bit of a flex showing some kahunas by spending that kind of money. Next up, we're going to keep a little bit more modern smelling stuff in here. So I want to go with Diorum Parfum. So this is a beautiful fragrance from Dior. I don't know if it's now discontinued or whatever, but it's got that incredible waxy, heavy iris thing, and not everyone responds to that. And it's also got this dark, leathery, woody undertone, which makes it a little bit less metrosexual and a bit more ballsy, if you know what I mean, than some of the also very excellent Dior Homme fragrances, the original Eau de Toilette and the Eau de Parfum. Great, but if you want to really show some nuts, I think Dior Homme Parfum is like, I don't care if you like this. Not everyone will like it, who cares what other people think? It's got real clout and it's just a really upscale, classy fragrance. I love my old school stuff, but I also respect modern perfumery when it brings us amazing juice like this. Get some nuts, spray some Diorum Parfum. Moving on to another little niche choice, niche choice, Lao Oud, recent release from the house of Bortnikov. They did very kindly send me this free thank you to them. Lao Oud from Bortnikov is an incredible, real, proper Oud fragrance. Get Tom Ford Oud Wood that the others would put in there, how to get compliments. Make her like you. What to wear to the office list. Lao Oud is a proper Oud fragrance. It's got pungent, pungent, some would say fecal, but I you know, no, but barnyard oud a little bit. It's funky, but it's, it's it's actually very wearable. It's smooth. I think there might be sandalwood and a lot of other compliment, complex notes in there. And there's kind of coffee-like undertone that I think actually can come from the oud itself. It's very, very smooth. It's very, very pungent. Extra de parfum. If you're a real frag head, you really love your frags. You don't care what other people think. I think wear some heavy, serious oud now and again be in your face, why not? Okay, last couple now, last three I think. Opium, pour on, YSL, fantastic. Kind of, what is it, uh, bourbon vanilla cassis, it's kind of black currant, is it black currant? Yeah, black currant note. Uh, Sejuan pepper, tolu balsam, very rich balsamic oriental fragrance. It is exotic, it is like an opiate, it's intoxicating and it's an incredible fragrance. I've got the Eau de Parfum and it is vintage. I'm not sure if they only do the Eau de Toilette now, but the smell's not a million mile off, miles off, just a bit uh, less strong. Really, really great. I bet they'll discontinue the whole thing soon because it's not with the modern zeitgeist, but why I sell Opium Pour on amazing fragrance for someone who doesn't give a damn. It smells amazing. Who can second guess if it will get you compliments or other people will like it? We don't know, no one knows that. Have some kahunas, wear what you like, guys. Uh, last two, Lapidus Pour Homme has got to be in the list just for the sheer FU factor of this fragrance. I'm not even sure I like it. Look at the bottle. It's kind of fougere plus everything in the kitchen, but the kitchen sink. It's like Yves Saint Laurent Coros mixed up with God knows what else in a bottle and shaken. It's powerful. It's pungent. It's not exactly expensive smelling. It's kind of really masculine. The bottle is amazing and it gives me that uh, feeling, that testosterone that testosterone rush when I wear this fragrance. I gotta be totally honest. Last one, I'll tell you why it's in the list. Lagerfeld Classic from, of course, Lagerfeld. Well, the reason for it, I love this fragrance actually, but the one reason is it was the method acting fragrance of choice but for Al Pacino in the film Scarface in the early 80s. So he wore, the, it was in the, featured in the film as well, you can see it on the bathtub, and he sprayed it on every day to help him get in the zone. I think it's a 1978 release. It's now called Lagerfeld Classic. Modern formula's fine, some people go on about that. So you've got patchouli, a kind of almost orangey, boozy tone with heavy patchouli and spice and a kind of really warming, heavy aura. It's kind of, it's not a masculine fougere fragrance at all. It's a very heavy, rich, almost boozy, leathery, patchouli combination and really, really, really ballsy. So get your balls to the wall. Lagerfeld Classic, amazing. It doesn't matter whether you're young or old, don't let people tell you what to wear. Wear what you want to wear. These are some good suggestions. Hopefully you might discover something new from the list. Let me know what you think about that. So guys, that's all for today. Thanks ever so much for watching. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project. And sometimes life may stink, but we can always smell good and we can always have kahunas. Bye-bye. <laughs>
Bon viveur, le nouveau parfum pour un par Norton Wilson. Parce que la vie est faite pour être appréciée.